Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be another Valentine's Day look. So to start, I'm just going to prep my face as usual, starting with my moisturizer, which I use the Marc Jacobs Undercover Primer, I think it's called, but I'll have all that info listed in the bottom bar for you, followed by the Dr. Brent Oh wait, first we gotta get our water intake, girl, and then you gotta do a dance after you drink water. Followed by the Dr. Brent No More Pores Primer, and then of course my lip mask. So just prime your face, and then we're gonna move right on to foundation. So for foundation, I'm gonna use this Maybelline Dream Velvet Mousse, I think it's called. This is in the color 70, and then the next closest was 90. I wish they had an 80 in there somewhere. So I'm gonna have to mix these two to create my color. So I'm just gonna put them on this little metal tray and then mix them up, like my name is Bob Ross, and put these on our face. I'm just using a foundation brush at first, and then we'll blend it all out with a beauty blender. And this foundation was burning my skin a little bit. That's what I'm saying right here. I don't know if that's normal, but I will switch my foundation. You'll see why uh, when we get to that part. But just know it was okay to start with, but like 30 minutes in, mm-mm, mm-mm. tutorial is coming later this week so for now let's just speed through these So moving on to our eyes, I'm gonna start with this Viseart palette and taking this first color on the top row, again, there's no names in these palettes. I'm going to use this as our transition color. We are gonna be using black, but I have to work myself up to using black. So going in with this matte brown shade, I'm gonna place that right on top of the other color in the crease. I just kind of put it in the crease a little sloppy at first and then take a brush with no extra product on it and run it over it just to smooth it out and blend it out even more. Finally, going into the black shadow, I'm using a small Morphe 507 brush. You wanna use something really small here so that the black doesn't get all over the place. We're just gonna go over the colors that we've already laid down before and build our black up. So I'm just taking a little bit of the shadow at first, placing it in the crease, and then taking a makeup brush that has no extra product on it and blending that color out. I'm just going to be repeating this step over and over until I build the black to the intensity that I want. So just keep in mind, if you do do this look and you use black, you're going to be blending forever. So just take your time, work the black into your crease just a little bit at a time. That way, like I said, you don't have like a huge black mess or it doesn't you know, look like you got punched in the eye. Here I'm just taking a small angled brush and that same black shadow and placing this in my crease just to build that intensity even more. And like I said, I have to use small makeup brushes, otherwise things get out of control. So I'm basically just doing the same thing just with tinier brushes. Yep, 
Then going into a Morphe palette, I'm going to pick up this red shade. I was a little nervous using the red because I don't really think I've ever used red shadow in my whole life. So, I mean, that's the first time for everything. So I'm just using a 242 brush, which is a flat shader brush. It's going to help keep the color on the lid and not fall out all over your face. And I'm just pushing it into the lid. Picking up the brush that we were using to blend out the black, I'm just going to go over that so that the red meshes with the black. And also I run the brush completely over the lid to tone down that redness. So it just kind of goes more with the black and it's not just like bright red, black, you know? So I had to change my foundation because this, this dream velvet whatever was flaking off of my face, like just flaking off of my face. It, made, it was making my skin look gross. So I just switched back to my Clinique um, Beyond Perfecting foundation. I just wanted to tell you guys, I've had it on for maybe 35 minutes and it looked gross. Mm. Okay, now back to the video. For liner, I'm going to use the Tardis Clay Liner from Tarte and a 210 eyeliner brush from MAC. I'm obsessed with this brush. It just makes it a lot easier to get your wings on like super sharp. So you can skip to wing liner or not. I am going to go over the eyeliner with a liquid liner just to build the intensity and just build it up a little more. But the 210 brush does help. And you see, I messed up. I had to do it over. So if you mess up, it's okay. Moving on to false lashes, I'm gonna use the lashes, I think these are Boudoir from House of Lashes. Again, all that info will be listed in the bottom bar. And lashes really make such a difference. So if you're not wearing false lashes, start. <laughs> For concealer, I'm gonna use the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. I think this is in CW03, um, I'm pretty sure. Put this under the eye in my normal way that I do, like in this little triangular, I always wanna say motion, but I guess it's triangular shape. I don't know. And blend out with a Motives foundation brush. This brush really does the work for you. And then to blend out even more, I'll just tap out with my Damp Beauty Blender. And of course, to set, I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then to set my face, I will use the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC35. bronze the face I'm gonna use the Girlactic bronzer in Cabo this is a matte bronzer and I'm just I really like the color that it gives off it's not like too gray or too like orangey bronzer color that like usually bronzers give off so I've been really into this Cabo bronzer lately Just to add a little bit of color to the cheeks, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Sex on Fire blush one more time. Mm -hmm. Right as I'm putting the glitter on my eyes, but I wanted to add glitter to the look because, I don't know, I just wanted to make it more Rawr, we have black eyeshadow on, let's put glitter on to amp it up even more. So I'm just using um, craft glitter, but just be careful if you do use craft, craft glitter, you don't wanna get it in your eyes. And all I'm doing is adhering it with a little bit of clear lash glue. So I just have two brushes. I dip the one brush in the lash glue and then push it onto my eye wherever I'm gonna want to put the um, glitter. And then pick up my other brush and then just push it on top of there.
<laughs> For highlight, I'm gonna use So Hollywood from Anastasia. This is one of the illuminators, and I'm just going to add a little bit of highlight today. I'm not gonna go crazy because we have red glitter lids, so just a little bit of highlight, but I can't skip it. Taking the black shadow one more time and the small angled brush, I'm just going to put some of this underneath my lower lash line. I'm gonna go from the outer corner to about the middle of my eye and then blend it out with a pencil brush. Lips, I'm gonna lightly line my lips with MAC stripped down. I'm not overlining my lips or anything. I'm just running it around my lips because I'm gonna use a nude um, lipstick and I just felt like it needed a little bit of definition. Otherwise, I feel like my lips just blended to my face. So lightly line the lips and then for lipstick, I'm just going to use Myth from MAC. And then over top, I'm gonna put a Girl Lactic gloss. It's basically just a clear gloss. I can't remember the name, but remember all that info is in the bottom bar. and all you have to do is fix your baby hairs and this look is complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys except I love you. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.